I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching the Do You Nerd. Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for video games and pickups? Woo! We've got a video about the floor of Mo Game Con yep. and our experience there. So let's just cut to the chase. Let's see what we got. And this time, it's going to be the Tom Show. Oh, because so. I didn't get very much stuff there. But somebody <laughs> else did. Oh, yeah, I Somebody did. made that barrel heavy and it wasn't me this oh, time. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we had the barrel there, the DK barrel. The and, famous DK barrel. And we <laughs> barely got away with it because Captain Algebra was oh eyeing my gosh. that thing the His whole His hand time. was on it and it would, like, start wheeling away. And I'm like, where's the barrel going? <laughs> guess he was just testing the wheels we actually at one point had to take the barrel once we went to get something to eat to the car it was literally overflowing it was of all the conventions we've been to even three-day conventions i have never had to go empty the barrel so what does that tell you tells me that we found a lot of awesome <laughs> stuff now before we jump right into the pickups chris at video game dust sleeves had made us some awesome new sleeves. Yes, uh, with, with a new design. Yeah, so a little make bit sure of a tweaked design. Head over there if you want the new design versus the old design and, and go ahead and pick those up. And we had taken these just to give away. We had, I think, like 20 or so. I think we did 20, yeah. And this is all that we had left. Yeah. And honestly, I think the only reason we had these I think left. They were stuck at the bottom. I think of they the got barrel. lost in the barrel. <laughs> but the rest, we had so much fun giving away oh, yeah. and people loved them. Yeah. That wasn't all that Chris did, though. He made us some special Mo Game Con sleeves 2019. Yes. He made room on the back for them to be signed. Sign. He sent a couple of these. We gave one to Cap, one to Gaming Off the I Grid. Think we gave one each. To yeah, to each, to, to Robert, Robert and, and Wes. Then the other two, one was for us and one was for Chris since he couldn't make yeah. it out to the con. So, so we got him some signatures on there. Some good ones too. You mm -hmm. got Walter Day, uh, Pat signed it, Norm signed it, mm -hmm. Jay, uh, a bunch of the YouTubers we saw. Uh -huh. So gaming off the grid, Cap. Uh, oh my gosh, it was so many, too many so, to name. Yeah, I mean, there's so many on there. And speaking of Walter Day, little trading cards. And oh, that one's that one's for you. Oh, this you. one is mine. He signed these cards to Tom and to Lacey, to Lacey. except and what was the problem? He wanted to know if I knew that my name was spelled wrong. <laughs> L-A-C-I. <laughs> and I said, yes, I did. I've known that for 36 years now, and my mother did yep, it. that's why it wasn't my birth certificate. Because your parents are being creative, because that's not a common spelling. I tr tell me about it. I never find my name on anything. <laughs> He wasn't the only one that had cards there, though. We even got a card from Adam Korolik. He's got a fun channel if you've never checked it out. And we got some signatures from him, mm -hmm. too. YouTuber Retro Tony had a card, which was awesome. Although, in retrospect, we should have ran this back by him and got know, him to sign it. I know, we didn't even it. think about that. Oh, Con brain. One of the YouTubers, Kyle the Collector, actually came and said hello to us. And I wanted to show his business card off because I love this. It's a simple idea. Yeah. But he put a little pin on the back. How and fun is that? We got Iron Mike, Kid Dynamite, Mike Tyson himself. He's going to bite your ear off and evade your dreams. Hey, <laughs> hey that's a nice bike you got there. It's mine now. See ya. Whoa, bike. Tyson stole my bike. Well, it was Mo Game Con, so let's talk about some games. We picked up some fun ones from Retro Tony, in fact. One for the lady. I was. This was the only game I was looking for the entire time, and it was Jaws. And I will honestly say, I was looking for this thanks to Russ Lyman, because right before we went to the <laughs> con, he did a video in honor of Shark Week of Jaws, and I was like, hey, that looks like a lot of fun. I actually kind of want to give that a try. And of course, I got the LJN approval from <laughs> Cap. He was very excited that I got this. I was a little disappointed. I found this after the $5 challenge uh, that because is a shame. I did get it for $5 and I totally would have used this in the challenge. And then Cap said he would have voted for mine. Oh, <laughs> I always like to pick up the uh, the weird cards, the weird shapes and colors. Yes, they're so so much fun. I got Pyramid, uh, partially because it's a weird cartridge, but she loves all things Egyptian. I so do. I it's do. like, well, that was perfect. And then another from Retro Tony was The Tick on Super Nintendo. <laughs> Boom! 
<laughs> okay. There was one more thing we got from Retro Tony. We did. Did you guys know we won one of his contests? So he had an awesome contest. He gave away two prizes. One, tickets to Mo Game Con, which, we which was need. very awesome. But the other... Do you nerd? Question mark. Do you nerd? A PlayStation Boom. Classic, which <laughs> was very cool. I had not got in touch with him uh, from the video, but he was so cool. He called us out. He's like, hey, I've got something for you guys. Yeah. He honored the contest yep. still. He said, I knew you guys were going to be here, so I brought it to give it to you. So that was awesome. Thank you yes. so much, Retro Tony, uh, for the fun games, for the PlayStation Classic, and uh, I hope that you had an awesome time at the show. Okay, okay, okay. Whew. Surely you got something. I show. did. I did. I uh, I got a shot glass. Oh, that's Mo Game perfect. Con. I did. So you know, now we can we can have some Mo Game Con shots. <laughs> and we only needed the one because before the convention, we picked up something to take with us. We did. We got a group gift for Captain and Robert and Wes and us. So we picked up these fun little PlayStation shot glasses so that when we're all in our own respective places, we can shot together and have a uh, matching shot glass so that we can all enjoy ourselves together. Really That's good. very yeah. medicinal. Very medicinal. Okay, okay, back to me. Of course, because this <laughs> is all about you. Here was my entry into the $5 challenge. I think I did pretty good. But so don't vote for his. His wasn't as totally good as vote mine. For my, you, Just watch, you're going to vote. So I picked this up just on that cover alone. Come to find this out. This is a uh, pachinko game. This. This is what a winning game looks like. <laughs> this uh, wins the challenge. I think we're... I, I can't get out of the loop. <laughs> <laughs> stuck in the loop. <laughs> I think you spend more time riding in an elevator uh -huh, to all kinds of like weird areas that are under construction and broken down. Uh, though it did have a beautiful skyline. It did have a lovely skyline that you could just circle. <laughs> to the baseball? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> what? That's closed. <laughs> uh, you want to try? <laughs> Hell yeah, I do. <laughs> and then I also got Derby Stallion 96. It is a thoroughbred simulation game. Good, because game. 95 and 97, both those years were pretty terrible. <laughs> now, the fun thing is, the booth that had these, these were actually marked at $5 each. I went up to them and I told them, hey, I got this $5 challenge. I'm trying to win. I either want to get something weird, something cool, a little bit of both. You know, what can you do to help me out? Like, like, what's your recommendation? They told me they had this bin with some little $5 stuff if I wanted to get two for five that I could. So I got this and I picked this one up because this thing is complete in box. And a really good condition box at that. <laughs> As you can see, everything is in this box. That cartridge looks pristine. Like, seriously, I think nobody has yeah, ever played it. I don't it. think anybody's played this game ever. And it's got that weird slot up top that looks like it takes a Game Boy game. So it's almost like a Super Game Boy. Uh, BK actually sent me a message later on saying that he looked into it a little, and I guess there is some Game Boy connectivity with other games in the series, which is kind of neat. I don't know, I can't read it. <laughs> and I actually got a uh, another thing, a friend of ours there at the con, he hooked me up with a fun little thing. He was selling these for $5. When I gave him one of our sleeves, and I had told him about the $5 challenge, I said, you know, I may come back for this. He goes, hey, how about we call this a trade? So this is one of the four dragons from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas poker chips. So on one side it says the Four Dragons Hotel Casino, the other side the logo of the game. Which is pretty cool. But that was awesome. And that's why I'm the winner of the $5 challenge. No. Totally. A complete inbox Super Famicom game, an awesome poker chip, or a classic game, and then this thing. No. I am totally going to win the $5 challenge because my cartridge is pretty. I is a beautiful, gorgeous color, and who doesn't love to play Mahjong? Not to mention, it's supposed to be $9.99, but I got it for $5. So yeah, mine is totally the one that's going to win, because it's pretty. No. No. 
that's vote for mine. Make sure you vote for mine. Some more games that I picked up a little closer to the end of the day, I got for a really good deal because it was at that point where the vendors were starting to pack up. This booth, the guy was actually shouting he out was. offers, which was a lot of fun. He was he took like one of his rubber maids that you pack the stuff up in and he goes, Anything in this bin, 30% off. And then he started walking around the table and just picking up stuff and throwing it in there. So it was kind of fun to watch. It was like a feeding frenzy because people swarmed him. So I got a great price actually on Monster Party. And I got a very nice price on B-52. Bomber. <laughs> but it is one of the that. Comerica games, which weren't quite legit cartridges. So it's got that switch on the back, you know, to uh, make sure you're going to be able to play it, even if Nintendo's trying to stop you from playing. Another neat thing was I picked up this Dragon's Lair collection. The sad thing is the box is really rough. It the outer is. box part of it. But this is the 20th anniversary special edition. And what's interesting about this is that it's a game mostly uh <laughs> this is a game that you would play on your dvd player back in the day a lot of dvds would actually have the interactive mm -hmm. menus and you would use the keys on your remote to you know navigate your way through that's literally all this yeah. is since that's all that the game was you've got dragon's lair one and two and space ace and it's also funny to note that on the sleeve it talks about how you can play these on your ps2 and xbox because they could play DVDs. And the other thing that's kind of neat, since it's a box set, is the spines all make a picture. They I always, do. I always like when they do stuff like that. And who can resist the allure of Dirk the Daring, or at least Princess Death? I was going to say, no one's coming for Dirk. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got me something fun. I've gotten a couple of these little, like, Funko bobblehead figures, but this one really, I really liked him because his head is like, like, he's like <laughs> the bobbliest bobblehead I've ever seen. And there was just something about it when I picked him up and he was just so blah, 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 blah. But I thought he would be really fun to put on like the dash of the car and just watch <laughs> him just vibrate down the highway. He's going to have brain damage. Is it Captain Deadpool? Nah, it's just Deadpool. And I got something else kind of fun, which I know Cap's going to love this. <gasps> His favorite. His favorite. Bloody... Wind Waker Link, because it's his favorite. So a quick funny story, she actually got that to kind of rib cap while yeah. we were there. I was going to say, ooh, here's my $5 pickup. And I told her, you better not do that because he will probably snatch that away from you yeah. and rip his little head off. And I didn't want him to do that because I have a collection of these little links and I didn't have Wind Waker yet. So I was like, oh, okay. So I didn't even show Cap that I got it. <laughs> But look, Cap, it's your favorite! Honestly, though, I do think, I mean, what a game aside, I always liked this Link in his little tunic because there's just this cute little lobster on his shirt. So I just always thought that was cute. Well, on the subject of Link, you guys know that we like our art prints. We do love our art prints. And check this, this out. This is an awesome, amazing custom art print that's going to be so much fun and so unique because you've got Breath of the Wild Link overlooking the St. Louis skyline with the Mogame Con logo on it. So it's really, really cool. You know Link is thinking, I can climb that. I think I have enough stamina <laughs> to get to the top of the arch. I uh, took the Blu-ray to the gaming historian and I was very glad to get it signed by Norm himself. Yes. So that was very cool. And we got just, just a little book. Just, just a tiny just one. Just a little book. You know, speaking of YouTubers getting things signed. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. This was one of the things I was very glad to empty the barrel for. <laughs> Pat had actually pre-signed the books, so that saved a little time. Pretty cool. But it was kind of nice to be able to pick it up right there in person instead of just ordering it mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. So that was fun. So something fun that we got, and this wasn't even uh, a pickup or anything. Nope. This happened to be a very unexpected gift from some uh, fans who like to watch us on YouTube. And it was a family, but the wife, first of all, had a very cool She had bag. a really neat bag. She had taken an Xbox um, that didn't work anymore. And a she, 360. Or, yeah, three, Xbox 360, and gutted it. And then put a liner inside of it, and then put a, a Nerf, um, like, gun belt on, like, on it to be the strap and everything. 
and turned it into a purse. And it was really, really cool. I mean, obviously, we always love clever stuff like mm -hmm. that. So We're that was very neat keeping to see. Our eye out for those uh, you know, repurposed stuff like oh, yeah. that. Especially if it's a system that it's it's gone, yeah. it doesn't work anymore. No sense in throwing that stuff away. Yeah, give it a brand new life. And uh, if you guys are watching, absolutely feel free to uh, shoot us some pictures over on Instagram, yeah. or Twitter, even Facebook. And uh, mm -hmm. show that thing off because that was really that cool. That was really neat, yeah. But they actually hooked us up with some trading cards. Yes, Holy a ton cow. of them. We haven't even had a chance to go through Not all of them yet, yet. But that is going to be so much fun because there is such a, a variety in here. Uh -huh. I'm seeing some uh, Spider-Man here. There's some Star Wars. And some Young Blood. Some, yeah, I got some Star Wars on mine. And that's not even all. There's no. a whole other box. And... Whew, got some gremlins some retro cards in here now uh he said that these were doubles he didn't need them anymore i think maybe he was wanting us to look through them but then he was like you know what just take the whole box now i tell you what if you change your mind or if there were some cards in here that you need back then give us a yeah. shout we will absolutely get those back to you because you guys did not have to do this at uh -uh. all it's so appreciated it's, thank you so much for thinking of us and it was it was really really way too sweet of you guys oh and one more good thing about all of these cards near as i can tell no 30 year old gum oh well that's kind of sad hashtag eat the gum <laughs> no don't eat all right, I think you still have something. I have one last, well, two set last things that I picked up at the same booth. Y'all know how much I absolutely love my Yoshi. You do? I love Yoshi. <laughs> and it was kind of fortuitous that I was able to get a blue plushie and a pl plastic blue plushie. So it's like, you know, best of both worlds. But they're super cute. This Yoshi, his little armies move, his little leggies move, and his head moves. <laughs> so, and he's pretty big. I've not really seen them. Uh, this big. I yeah, think I might have really seen fun. maybe a green one, but I haven't seen the colored ones this big. So he's a good, fun, uh, big plastic one. And then you've got the typical, I've seen a lot of these in the different colors, but blue would be the only one I would go for. So it was kind of good that I found two blue ones. I believe, was it Robert? Robert, yeah, that was, that was that was something fun that was kind of neat. We got to bond a little bit over, um, found out that our favorite games are the same with Dr. Mario, and then found out that he loves Yoshi. That's his favorite character, or one of them anyway. And because I was, he was like, what'd you pick up? And I was like, oh, I picked up some Yoshis. And he goes, oh, do you have any pictures? So he really wanted to see him. So I, I brought him over to show it to him. He didn't, unfortunately, he left before I got my oh, really big Yoshi. And in a different video, you'll see that one. There was a huge wall of Funko Pops when you first walked in. Like you couldn't even see over these things. And I got lucky because I found a Funko that I've had my eye on for a while now. But I've never really popped on her. Ha! Huh. Funko Pop! Ha ha ha! Anyway, so I got this one because it is um, Mary Jane, and the reason that I like her is the fact that she's holding a tiny stuffed Spider-Man. Something I want to know is how did you even see her in that whole wall of Funko Pops? I've got Pop? an eye for the stuff I like. I just thought she's adorable. You know, obviously, us redheads got to stick together. I think one of Tom's favorite parts is her little freckles. Always he's a freckles. He's a sucker for freckles. I just thought she's just so cute. With that little tiny stuffed Spider-Man, she's got like the camera around her neck and another. Of course, it's a bobble. Bobble. They love their bobbles. Funko loves their bobbles. There was one more thing that I picked up. This was something I'd had my eye on somewhat in a way. Splatterhouse, but this is for the NES. On the Famicom, there is a game, and I think it is called Wempaku Graffiti, and it is a very cutesy version of Splatterhouse, <laughs> but it always looks like it's so much fun. And there was a booth there that had these already set up to play on your NES, and the price was really good. It is limited, retro limited, release number one. I have number 28 out of 100. Nice. As you can see, not only did they just put it in a cart, but they gave it the full treatment and put it in a box and everything. Everything's in there. They even put the styrofoam. That's a good touch. Like when you would buy NES games, a nice manual and full color. Nice. And there were some NES games that didn't even come with yeah. full color. Yeah, so that was, that's really awesome. And then the cartridge itself, even in a sleeve already. Of course, it's a nice black cartridge. This is awesome. Like I said, mm -hmm. I've actually been looking 
for this game for a while to add to the collection. It always looks like so much fun. I believe it actually plays pretty well too. A little side scroller beat em up. It's great to have that convenience of being able to play it on an NES without having to, you know, mess with anything just to make sure it works with the, yeah. you know, from a Famicom cartridge. Well, nerdlings, that's a good amount of stuff right there. We that's had a, a blast. That was a pretty good pickup. And you know what? That was just for Mo GameCon. We got pickups from other places, we too. We do. We do. So stay but tuned. I, it's about absolutely any of this. Leave a like for the video if you happen to like it. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because there are more videos coming your way, Mo Game Con and otherwise, as well as... Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram so that you can hear the announcement for when we go to Mo Game Con next year because we're definitely going back. And don't forget to go over to Tee Public and pick up our merchandise over there and nerdlings if we like it we nerd it and tom's gonna win that five dollar challenge no lacy is because it's such a pretty card mike tyson stole <laughs> stole my bike uh yeah. come to find out sorry get ready yep can you hear that? It's a great noise, isn't it? Right. Way back, Tom. Good luck. <laughs> Don't flip off the computer. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. All right, ready?